Cannonballs welcome us to Cannonball Cove, home of the first race of the second season of the Funnel Tournament. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. We are back for the second season of the Funnel Tournament, which will be bigger and better than ever. And see some of the new fans out in the stands, along next to the Crickets fans. You can see we're going to have 16 teams this time, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of newcomers. So, six returning teams from Season 1, and then 10 new teams, whether they be Marvel Sports Games teams or retired teams. So, this is Cannonball Co., a new track this season, hosted by the Cannonballs. And you can see it's going to feature different types of funnels, along with some Cannonballs and Gold Coins. Cannonballs live near the beach, so this track, hopefully, the the shift shifting sands will not be a problem. So we're going to get started with round one here in Final Tournament Season 2. The format for this season, the top four move on to the finals. Bottom four go through a match from 9th through 16th. Every course will have that this year. Ooh, disastrous start for the White Dragons, as expected. White Dragons, one of the retired teams in this tournament, they want to give it another go. And it is not going well for them. They're joined down there by the Sunrise Storm and the Stardust. Stardust following through. Sunrise Storm are going to finish in last. And there go the Stardust. The White Dragons are done. And what will be the final team knocked out? Will it be the Celestic Science? No! Sapphire pushes the Bumblebees on through. Celestic Science snatch advancement along with the Royal Raindrops, the Wasps, the half of the Stingers, and the Green Geese. So you remember the Bumblebees and the Wasps used to compete in the Marvel Sports game, and then half of their team members merged into the Stingers, and the other half are now competing here in the Funnel Tournament. Bumblebees, of course, competed last season. The Wasps did not. They are going to be competing, these two rivals, in this tournament. But neither of them will get the win here. That will go to the Green Geese, another retired team. And that's going to be a good run from Billy. So Billy, Hive, Dew, and Sapphire are moving on. So we're going to go to our second heat now with Cicada, Evergreen, Cappuccino, Caster, Candace, Clowny, Can, and Green Green. And that is a lot of C names in there. <laughs> and not a good start for the Lattes. Their Greenies are right on their tail. You don't want to do that in the final tournament. You want to go as long as possible. The Greenies are going to join the Lockheed down. The Greenies are the only team from Marvel Sports Games Season 3 in this tournament. We'll have to see if they can do good. Lattes, they are done. They were in the Sea League this year. There go the Greenies. Got the Glaciers down there with the Circus Clowns, and both of them fall on through. The Glaciers, another retired team. They've been retired for a long time, since the end of Season 1. Cannonballs, our hosts, the Evergreen Warriors, the Thunder Gods, our defending bronze medalists in the Funnel Tournament. They will be moving on. Thunder Gods, one of three podium finishers. They also won the individual championship last year. That went to Pollux. Caster, of course, competing this season. Well, this race. Pollux is competing. They'll be at the next race at the Buzz Bowl. Evergreen Warriors, a new team this season. They were in the C League. They have chosen Evergreen to represent them in this race. And they'll be moving on along with Caster, Can, and I believe Cicada. Yeah, the Cannonballs fans pretty happy about that. <laughs> Go to the match from 9th to 16th now. So this is for points. So the scoring is the same as the Marvel Sports games. Last place, which is currently belonging to the Glaciers with a disastrous run. Last place gets 0, 15th place gets 1, and so on and so forth. Same as the Marvel Sports games. And the White Dragons actually have a nice wide angle going for them there. They're hoping to get some solid points. And the Greenies are in danger. They're going to bump through. The Glaciers bump them in. The Greenies plays dead last. The Glaciers will get 15th. White Dragons drop on through in 14th. The Stardust round out the bottom four. Lattes, Bumblebees. And now Clowny is going to fend off Helios from the Sunrise Storm. A nice run for the Circus Clown. They will get 7 points and a ninth place finish. Circus Clown runners up last season to the Crickets. Clowny also got 2nd in the Individual Championship. Bouncy, their teammate, got a respectable 6th, I believe, and will be competing at the next race. So this is the bottom half. 
Cyclops of Cloudy, Helios, Vespa, Cappuccino, Stardust, Drake, Candace, and Green Boo. But now, for the big points, the top half, who will win gold at Cannonball Cove? Can our host the Cannonballs do it? We'll find out soon, but this is not a good start for I believe the Wasps. Celestia Science are going to follow them, followed by the Cannonballs. Up top, Cicada from the Crickets holds the lead, our defending champion. Here come the Cannonballs, the Evergreen Warriors in there, and the Blue Final. They're going to bump Cicada. Cicada's lost the lead. Wasps are done, Cannonballs are done, got our top six. And that's what we'll go to the Celestic Cyans. Green Geese, quick, it's faster than I can say it. They are done. Evergreen Warriors will get the victory. Wow, what a stand there by Evergreen. They fell into that final final. As I was about to say, they fell on through. They bumped in Castor and Do, And the Evergreen Warriors have picked up the victory. Good run from Castor, who was on the Thunder Gods. And Do from the Royal Raindrop. Well done to both of them, but Evergreen in the Evergreen Warriors first ever final tournament race picks up the gold medal. Our hosts will get a solid 9 points in 7th place, but the Evergreen Warriors are ecstatic. First ever gold in any tournament for the Evergreen Warriors, and Evergreen is proud to deliver it. Do from the Royal Raindrops pick up their second silver medal in the final tournament. Castor gets their first bronze with second overall medal. They won the third race last season back at Ladybug Lane, did Castor. The Evergreen Warriors on top after one round. We say thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next one. The second race of the Funnel Tournament season and first repeat track that we will see this season is the Buzz Bowl, hosted by the Bumblebees. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. See the Bumblebees fans. Hoping for a great race from their home team today. They have come to support the team. Queen Bee was featured there. It's going to be an interesting track. We saw this as the season opener last season. And it saw the Arctic Penguins win gold. They're not here this year. But we will have 16 different teams competing for the gold medal here. And we are ready to get this underway. And we're rolling. And the top four move on to the next round. Bottom four go to a match from 9th to 16th. Currently down there are the Royal Raindrops and the Glaciers. It's Moist from the Royal Raindrops, replacing Rain from the team. Rain not going to be competing this season after a disastrous season one. Moist trying to fend off a couple of challengers, but will not, and will place in the bottom four. Greenies drop on through. So moving on will be the Circus Clowns, the Glaciers, Celestic Scions, and the Cannonball. Some familiar faces from the top half of last round, and some newcomers. Circus Clowns will get their first top half finish of the season with Bouncy. Clowny, their teammate, got ninth last round. The Thunder Gods, Royal Raindrops, I believe the Wasps are eliminated. Yeah, the Wasps not doing good on their rival's home track. Wonder, was that intentional? They're going to add a bit of an extra curve here at the end of the track. It won't affect the race at all, just for collection purposes at the bottom for the team. And for easier viewability. Dragon, Grasshopper, Ducky, Hyperion, Maple, Espresso, Starshine, and our host team with B. And B has another bad start on this track. The Bumblebees do not seem to be able to start well at all on their home track, and B is in the penultimate funnel. Up top, the Sunrise Storm, Hyperion dominating up top, now is joined by the Green Geese as the Bumblebees are in danger of finishing last, and they will! Grasshopper from the Crickets also plummets on through, followed by... Ooh, it's going to be the Evergreen Warriors! And the Stardust! So we have a three-way fight for the lead! Watties, take it! They're gonna fall on through, though, the Sunrise Storm win the round! Good job by Hyperion right there! Moving on with the Green Geese, Lattes, and believe it or not, the White Dragons. This will be their first top half finish in a while, in any competition. Who can they make them? Espresso, Dragon, Ducky, and Hyperion. Maple from the Evergreen Warriors not living up to the expectations that Evergreen set in round one. We go from the match to 9th through 16th. So, points on the board now. We have Pollux, B, Queen, Grasshopper, Starshine, Moist, Maple, and Greenie. 
Away we go, here at the buzz ball, and the Greedies, again, having a disastrous run. Can they recover? They're in last place with zero points right now. But down there are the Wasps, again struggling on their rival's home track. And the Bumblebees are joining them. And the Wasps will play stead last, and the Bumblebees in 15th. Mm, what a rivalry. <laughs> 15th and 16th, the two worst positions you can get. And here comes Moist, followed after Maple, Grasshopper, Pollux, Greeny should take 10th here, and the Stardust will get a commanding victory. Here with Starshine. Starshine, a new member for the for the team this season, replaced Star Space Dust from last season. Space Dust had one bronze, and that is it. And Starshine's hoping to better that, but it's not going to do too much here. Ninth is respectable, so I think the Stardust will take that. Could be the Wasps, or the Bumblebees. The Evergreen Warriors will pick up a whole two points this round, meaning they will have 27 overall, which we'll have to see how the top half round goes, but they might lose a championship lead. Pollux, our defending individual champion, down in 11th. Five points earned this round. Fans anxiously awaiting the finale. There you can see our competitors in the gates. Who will win the Buzz Bowl track? Hyperion, Bouncy, Espresso, Non, Glacia, Ducky, Celeste, or Dragon? We're about to find out as the starting gate block has been lifted and the White Dragons instantly plummet through three straight funnels. And it's all coming undone for them. Up top, Bouncy from the Circus Clowns holds the lead. White Dragons first run into the penultimate funnel. They're joined by the Lattes, Sunrise Storm, and the Green Geese. The Lattes are done, followed by the Sunrise Storm, who will not match their dominance from the heat. Celestic Science come on through as the Glaciers hold a commanding victory. A top four now, and if you believe it or not, the White Dragons will be on the podium. They're going to get at least a silver medal here. And that is all she wrote. The Glaciers will fend them off nicely with a gold medal, their first in their career. Glacier will earn it for the team, but the White Dragons will get a silver, too. And the Cannonballs will get a bronze, so all three of this event's podium are retired Marvel Sports Games teams. What a job by all of them. And Glacier is going to savor this moment, as will Dragon and Nom. Ducky just short of the podium. And Bouncy, Celeste will play sixth again for the Celestic Scions. Have to see what happens there. But the White Dragons, Cannonballs, and Glaciers, all celebrating on the podium today, triumphant. It's the first ever gold for the Glaciers, the first ever silver for the White Dragons. The Cannonballs had their fair share of medals in the B League. This is their first funnel point. Evergreen Warriors will somehow hold the lead. The Glaciers jump 13 spots up into second place. One point behind the Evergreen Warriors. The Cannonballs are up to third. The White Dragons jump eight. And the Bumblebees have inherited last place. The Mead League takes points. Hide down there with the Mead Thank you for watching this round. Hope you enjoyed it. Our next place will be at Lofty Lane. Hope by the Lofty. I'm the Emperor. That's all for now. The third race of Final Tournament Season 2 will be at Latte Lane, a new track for the competitors this season. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. We've gone to Cannonball Cove and the Buzz Bowl so far. One new, one returning track. And now we're at our second new track, hosted by the Lattes. An interesting design here with a similar, like, funnel setup to Cannonball Cove. You have the orange funnels up top. You have the snaky path into the big blue funnel that's going to have a lot of impacts in the middle. And then the orange funnel's at the bottom once more. And our competitors are raring to go as we're here in heat one. And we are already underway here at the third race of the funnel tournament. The White Dragons have taken the lead up top after a good silver medal for them last event. But it's all falling away for them. Thunder God's down there. Along with the Green Geese, remember the top four move on to the final, so the Green Geese are eliminated along with the Thunder Gods, the Glaciers, and... Oh, the White Dragons are going to be bumped on into the Stardusts. What a fall from Grace there. Held the lead early on, the White Dragons are eliminated. So moving on will be the Stardusts, Celestic Science, our hosts, the Lattes, and the Circus Clowns. 
big cheer for the home crowd right there. Cappuccino, moving on. Along with Circus Clowns, who will win this round. Clowny has proven to be a very good funnel racer before. He got second in the uh, individual championship last season and is looking to continue on fine form here. Head to Heat 2 now with Do, Evergreen, Vespa, Green Green, Hive, Cicada, Helios, and Can. And we are underway. Ooh, bad start, I believe. That's the cannonball. It's the wasps are right there. Evergreen is right on the wasp tail. And all three of them swinging in tandem back and forth in the blue funnel. A gaggle of marbles all plummets on through. We have five, six, seven. Shaking on through now in the bottom as the Evergreen Warriors will finish last. And the cannonballs wasp. And the lastly, the cutoff will go to the Royal Raindrops. To the Bumblebees Snatch Advancement along with the Sunrise Storm, the Greenies will get their first top half finish, and Cicada from the Cricket. Cicada got fourth last time out at Cannonball Cove, got fourth in the Individual Championship last season. Cricket, of course, with the champions then, looking to continue their title defense. Our championship leaders, the Evergreen Warriors, will not get a good result here. Royal Raindrops, Wasps, and Cannonballs will join them in the match for 9 through 16. Here's a, here's a view of the track. You can see the sharp, just the sharp turns that that snake section throws at them before winding on to the split path underneath the uh, the big eyeballs there. <laughs> Down the pathway, the lane I should say, into the final two funnels where it could make or break your race. Castor, Evergreen, Hive, Billy, Candace, Can, Do, and Drake here in the match through 9th through 16th, so this is worth points now, and immediately the White Dragons have decided they have, well, they've actually taken a spot back from the Green Beast, I believe, but not good for the move. So, Caster from the Thunder Gods has gotten stuck, they're going to deploy the Safety Marvel, there's a Safety Marvel that should be present at most tracks this season, so I believe, that there's Caster, yes, so Caster has gotten rolling again. The Green Geese, White Dragons, and I believe the Wasps are done. There go the Glaciers, Royal Raindrops. Here come, I believe, the Cannonballs. Caster actually is not going to win this, I don't think. Everyone will fend them off. Even with a bit of a delay for Caster. The Safety Marvel got them rolling again. And they will finish 10th with 6 points. So as I was saying, the Safety Marvel will be present at most, if not all, tracks this season depending on if it works into the safety marble schedule, to make sure that all competitors have as safe a race as possible and to avoid DNFs. Of course, sometimes safety marble's not going to get there in time or if the DNF happens at the bottom, but we want to make sure all these races are as fair as possible, so they will be there. Now for the final, Vespa, Stardust, Sapphire, Cicada, Green Green, Clowny, Cappuccino, and Helios, who will win it? The Celestic Science battling up top at the Greenies. Celestic Science take the lead. And immediately have a couple down into the blue funnel, including our host, the Lattes. Cicada, one of the first ones into the orange funnels. They're joined down there by a few. Sunrise Storm are down there. Cicada's going to finish in the last. They are three-way fight for the lead. The Circus Clowns will hold it, but they're not going to win it. The home team, the Lattes, have won gold! And the home crowd is going crazy right now! Cappuccino fends off everybody in the final funnel, including a nice charge from Clowny and Green Green. The Lattes are victorious here at Latte Lane. What a job done by Cappuccino! The Circus Clowns Clowny will play second, a very respectable finish from them. Green Green from the Greenies earns their first points in the individual championship and the Greenies first medal of this tournament. They were down in I believe 15, so they are going to love this. But the home crowd is going crazy for Cappuccino. Stands triumphant on the podium and jumps 10 spots in the standings up to second place. The Circus Clowns jump 8 and into the lead. These standings are crazy close right now. 
15th place, the Bumblebees can get up to first with a gold next event. It is that close. The Circus Grounds have 38 points. One point clear of the Lattes, three clear of the Evergreen Warriors, and the Celestic Scions with zero podiums, interestingly enough, jump up to four. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for race number four. Shrouded in the Olympic clouds far above, the Earth, the Thunder Gods welcome us to the fourth round of Funnel Tournament Season 2. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. The Parthenon going to be the track today, a returning track from Season 1. This was the second track back then. A track that was won by the Crickets. The Crickets will go on to win the season, and will they be able to do it again here? They will be competing in this heat along with Hyperion, Non, Glacia, Pollux, Maple, Ducky, and Starshine. So, unfortunately, there is no safety marble at the Parthenon here. They could not make it up to the clouds in time. And if there are any DNFs, and there are, the crickets, speak of the devil, are going to stall. Look at the speeds. They're glacially slow as they enter that boulevard. The crickets are not going to finish this, and the Thunder Gods will place last. Well, penultimate, I guess, because the crickets are eliminated. But, yeah, there's no safety marble at this track, unfortunately. They could not make it in time. So that means the crickets will be eliminated along with the evergreen warriors, thunder gods, and the green geese. So cannonballs, glaciers, stardust, and sunrise storm managed to successfully move on. Good run for sunrise storm winning the round. Hyperion. Above Starshine, Glacier, and Non. We head to round two now. You can see the track from above with Espresso, Moist, Dragon, Celeste, Greeny, Bouncy, Queen, and B. And we are rolling, and it's the White Dragons and Celestic Science who do not get off to a good start. The White Dragons are plummeting down this course. Dragon having a very unsuccessful run for the White Dragons. I don't think they're going to finish last, so they might still be able to recover. The Bumblebees will get knocked out, followed by... Let's see, and it will be the Wasps. Can the Dragons hold on? No, they will not be able to hold on. They are eliminated. And... I only see seven runners. The Greenies have gotten stuck. We've seen how slow that middle section can be at some times, and the Greenies did not have enough speed to keep going. So the Greenies are going to DNF. Along, and they will be knocked out along with the White Dragons, Wasps, and Bumblebees. The two rivals, the Wasps and Bumblebees, have had a very interesting rivalry battle so far for last place. So, I'm not going to continue to have any good results here. Neither of them have finished above fifth all season. That fifth place came from the Bumblebees in the last round, I believe. Circus Clowns will win this round. Well done to Bouncy. Circus Clowns are our current championship leaders, so they're hoping to extend their lead. They'll be moving on along with Celeste, Espresso, and Moist. Espresso looking to continue their team's hot streak of late, where Cappuccino won the most recent race at Latte Lake. Dragon, Maple, Greeny, Ducky, Bee, Grasshopper, Queen, and Pollux for the match for 9th to 16th. This is for points, and hopefully nobody gets stuck here, but... We will have to see. Remember, this is a glacially slow speed that some teams have in that boulevard section. As the Thunder Gods hold the lead, Bumblebees are done. We have a couple shaking around down there. The Crickets have fallen from grace mightily. They will finish, and oh, Greeny, again having issues. They are going to fly off the track. They're not going to finish this race. Oh, oh my! I think a safety marble would have been useful. Here, the, the Evergreen Warriors are going to get stuck, although that one was a very late DNF, so I don't know if that would have changed anything since they were far down the course. But a lot of DNFs here at the Parthenon. I'm going to wait for the final scores to show up. I know the Thunder Gods will get ninth, and let's see what happens. So, Pollux will get ninth, Queen 10th, Dragon 11th, so Greeny's going to place in last, and Maple in 15th chaos unfolding here at the Parthenon, but hopefully everything will be fine for the finale here with Nom, Celeste, Hyperion, Bouncy, Glacia, Espresso, Starshine, and Moist 
Here we go with the Parthenon finale. And the Lattes and Glaciers having a bit of a battle down there in that third funnel out of the boulevard. They are joined by the Circus Clowns and the Penultimate. Oh, it happened again! The Stardust have flown off the track. And everything is coming undone here at the Parthenon. The race is still going, though. Circus Clowns and... No, the Lattes are done. There's, there go the Circus Clowns. We have our podium. Shaking around in the bronze spot will be the Cannonballs, then the Sunrise Storm, and winning the Parthenon Gold Medal will be the Celestic Cyans. Celeste getting it done. Look at that. They almost came to a stop in that funnel after they pile up with them, Non, and Hyperion. But still, the Celestic Cyans, after a chaotic Parthenon Grand Prix, will pick up the victory over the Sunrise Storm. Uh, one of the Greek mythology teams, the Thunder Gods, might not be doing so great at their home track, but Hyperion from the Sunrise Storm will pick up a solid 20 points, so still well done to them. And Pollux will win the Constellation round in ninth. But the Celestic Cyans are going crazy right now. First ever medal in the final tournament, and it's a gold. And Celeste has delivered for them. Hyperion picks up the silver, and Non from the Cannonballs picks up their second bronze medals. The Celestic Science have vaulted into the lead over the Circus Clowns. The Lattes fall to third, and the Sunrise Storm are up to fourth. I did not expect that. Cannonballs up to fifth, and our defending champions, the Crickets, plummeting down into the bottom four. They are now down there with the Greenies, the Bumblebees, and the Wasps, and now the individual championship halfway through the season. The Wasp just tied for first over Glacia. Evergreen in third, and 35 points to the leader, and now we have the bottom half, and Green Green currently leads the bottom half with 17 points, and Maple Drake and B still struggling down there with 3 points. Thank you for watching everybody, stay tuned for Raindrop Peak. As we are now halfway through Final Tournament Season 2, we head to Raindrop Peak, which was a track last season, it was track number 7, hosted by the Royal Raindrops. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor, the Royal Raindrops, thrilled to be playing host once more. After a good finish in the track last season, where Dew got second. And there's going to be a safety marble once again at the track this time, if needed. Safety marble should be appearing in every remaining race this season. So hopefully the races will be as safe as possible. <laughs> The raindrop peak set up here, just a different starting gate at the top, but besides that, it's the same track. And we're gonna get this underway with Dragon, Caster, Bouncy, Vespa, Billy, Evergreen, Greenie, and Helios, and we are off and rolling as the Greenies have a bad start, and they are joined in the third bottle. There's a six, seven marbles. Well, then we have six back in that third bottle once more. Just a pile up. Thunder Guys are the first one to enter that penultimate funnel, but they will not finish. First, that will go to the Greenies. And, oh, the Green Geese are in danger of falling in there, but the Sunrise Storm and Bumblebees and the White Dragons will plummet on in. It's a pile-up. Here at the end, all of them coming together, the Evergreen Warriors will sneak away with the victory. Look at this, Thunder Gods are going to recover very well. They were the first one into that penultimate funnel, funnel, and look at this final stand by Caster. Still spinning. Pushes the Sunrise Storm in. There go the Evergreen Warriors and the Circus Clowns. The Thunder Gods were the last ones to leave that funnel as well. They'll be moving along, along with Bouncy, Billy, and Evergreen. Bouncy from the, I believe, second place Circus Clowns, hoping to make a run on the championship leaders, the Celestic Science, who are in this run along with Queen, Stardust, Espresso, Non, Do. Grasshopper, the former race winner at this track, and Glacia. Bad start for Glacia as they are down into that third funnel already. But as we've seen, this funnel has been a really crowded one. There's already four or five shaking in there as everybody comes on through. The Celestic Science hold the lead, but they get bumped in. I believe the Cannonballs have taken it as down goes Grasshopper, our former winner. Top four moving on now. There go the Lattes. Oh, they might get stuck. Well, we're going to have a pile-up. It's not going to matter. The cannonballs have technically finished, but they are going to adjust the track to make sure that that does not happen in the future, in case there were, like, multiple funnels still... multiple marbles still in that final funnel. But 
Cannonball to win this heat, but Grasshopper finishes last. There goes Glacia, the Wasps, somebody else, the Royal Raindrops will take a transfer spot along with the Celestic Cyan, the Lattes, and the Cannonballs. And the Stardust will get pipped by Doom. The hosts, pretty happy with that. They will be moving on, guaranteeing a top half finish. To go to the match for 9th through 16th now with Greenie, Queen, Helios, Glacier, Vespa, Grasshopper, Dragon, and Stardust. A couple of the uh, lower placed teams in here. In fact, I believe most of the bottom contenders are all in here. The Crickets, Greenies, Bumblebees, and Wasps, our entire bottom four are. And the Bumblebees and Wasps rivalry continuing to stay hot for last place as the Wasps are in danger. They're going to finish last. Grasshopper finishes 15th. A disastrous run for the defending race winner. Bumblebee 14th, White Dragons 13th. And then there's the Greenies, Sunrise Storm, Stardust will get bumped in by the Glaciers, meaning Glacier will pick up the highest possible position here with 9th. Look how some of these marbles just have a great final stand, others not so much. Glacier kind of managed this whole race. Look at this, they have a two funnel lead at this point, down to one. And the Greenies lost there, but Glacier will dominate this round. It earns seven points for the Glaciers, who are still relatively alive in the championship and hoping to get something going, perhaps next round now. White Dragons down there, along with the Bumblebees, Crickets, and Wasps. So we're getting ready to head to the final now, which will consist of Evergreen, Celeste, Castro, Espresso, Billy, Non, Bouncy, and our host, the Royal Raindrops, with Dew, who wins the fifth race of the season. About to get underway here, and we have the Green Marbles down there, along with the championship leader, Celestic Cyan. Also down there, Billy and Celeste into the penultimate funnel already. And up top, it's Non from the Cannonballs. We have our first finisher, and it is Espresso, followed by Evergreen. There go the Green Geese. The Royal Raindrops and Celestic Science bump on through. We have our podium and our top two. This is a dominant race for Caster from the Thunder Gods, who will get the gold by two whole funnels. The Thunder Gods sitting in the middle of the pack will not be there today. They will be on top of the podium. Above Nam from the Cannonballs, who wins their third podium in three races. And Bouncy from the second place Circus Clowns. Championship leading Celestic Science will place fourth, meaning they will still hold the lead over the Circus Clowns, even with a podium. But look at this domination from Caster. Just managed this race beautifully. Will not be denied. And the Thunder Gods will stand atop the podium. Our hosts will get fifth above Billy, Evergreen, and Espresso. Good points to all of them. Queen from the Watch continuing to struggle. That's now the second time Queen has placed last this season. But the Thunder Gods fans are going crazy right now. They have won their second medal of the season and their first gold since season one at Cricket Circuit. Caster stands atop the podium above Non and Bouncy. Well done to all of our competitors today. But especially the Thunder Gods. What does that do to the overall standings? Well, we know the top two stay the same, but the Cannonballs have jumped up to third. Thunder Gods jump four spots, five spots, excuse me, up to fourth. The Lattes plummet two above our host, the Royal Raindrops, and then the Sunrise Storm and Glaciers finishing the top half. Further down the order, it's the White Dragons, Crickets, Greenies, Bumblebees, and Wasps continuing to hold up the rear, and that rivalry continuing to disappoint. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time is round six in the funnel tournament season two the first one where we begin to see eliminations perhaps we'll have to see hello everybody on the upper the greenies welcome us to greenie expressway this very fast paced track that we have laid out in front of us it has a total of six funnels and a lot of time spent outside of the funnels hence giving it the expressway name so it's very fast nature in that wicked turn before the penultimate funnel that may catch several marbles off guard. Pollux, Hive, Clowny, Drake, Maple, Cicada, Hyperion, and Ducky are all ready to go, 
as we are going to get this race underway, and there we go, and immediately we're going to have a safety marvel deployed, get the green duck rolling, yeah, there they are, safety marvel is the orange uniform one, and it looks like there's a bit of a pileup, are we going to have to deploy a second one? We might. There is now, safety marble will be present at all the remaining tracks, thankfully we had that incident at the Parthenon. Speaking of the Thunder Gods, oh, they, the Thunder Gods finished in last crossing the line, but the White Dragons flew off that very fast turn. Safety Marvel's fighting for the lead with the Wasps, and the Wasps will fall on in, and I think, yes, the Wasps will win the heat. The Safety Marvel's time, of course, doesn't count, but Safety Marvel will be present. We've had a couple incidents this season already, and we have some more here. So they're the Thunder Gods. They're going to finish well, first, and the Circus Clowns are also knocked out. White Dragon just go flying off that turn, and the last one to be knocked out will be Hyperion from the Sunrise Storm. So the Green Geese, the Crickets, Evergreen Warriors, and the Wasps, who have not had a very good season at all, will be moving on to the final. And of course the Safety Marble shaking on through a bit after Hive. Well done to them. Wasps. Fans gotta be pretty excited with that. They haven't they're sitting in dead last. The rivals of Bumblebees are just one spot better than them. And they will be in this heat along with the Lattes, Glaciers, Royal Raindrops, Cannonballs, Evergreen Warriors, the Stardust, and our championship leaders, the Celestic Science, who have had an outstanding season so far, and we're going to have the safety level deployed again. That start has not been very favorable to many of these competitors. Oh, we have another pile up. I think the uh, track marshals at the Greeny Express, they may need to do a bit more checking into this track before the finale. We've had several incidents so far, but I think the second one has gotten cleared up. Looks like all of them are rolling as the Greenies, speaking of the host team, they will finish in last along with the Lattes, Bumblebees, and I believe it's the Cannonballs, or is that the Glaciers? That is the Glaciers who have been knocked out. The Cannonballs are still going. There go the Celestic Science and the Safety Marble. The Cannonballs are going to beat the Safety Marble. Well done, well done to Cannon. I'm sure they can do better than that in the final two. Uh, sorry, I'll stop with the puns. <laughs> They'll be moving on along with the Stardust, Celestic Science, and the Royal Raindrops, who hosted the Fire Race. This does mean, by the way, the Celestic Science will be guaranteed another top half finish, meaning they have placed in the top half in every event so far this season. Sixth, sixth, fourth, first, and fourth, I believe, to be exact. Sapphire will be given another shot here. See the track laid out in front of us. There's a lot of difficult corners on this track. We've got the one right in front of the penultimate one, and the one right after the second one that have really proven to be difficult. Safety Marble down there in the bottom right as we are ready to go here in the match for 9th through 16th. This is worth points. And one of these competitors will be walking away without any points this round. Who will it be? And a clean start for the first time this season. Well, not this season. Ooh, the White Dragons nearly got stuck. They got pushed by the competitors behind them. It's still going. There goes the Bumblebees down below. Will they finish in last? It's looking like it, but no, they won't! The White Dragons plummet on through, and they'll take last. Followed by the Circus Clowns, Glaciers, and the Bumblebees to cover a couple spots. Greenies, and the Thunder Gods, and ooh, a nice final stand there, and Hyperion has bested the Lattes. The Sunrise Storm will pick up the maximum possible seven points from this consolation match. But the Bumblebees had a terrible first start to this track, but they're going to stand in that final funnel well. They're going to get... Three marbles past them in that one funnel, and that is a good stand from B, I believe. I believe. <laughs> I'll stop with the puns. I think. <laughs> Sunrise Storm, though. Pretty happy with that. Come in ninth, I period. It was B. We got 13. And we're ready to go for the final now with the Stardust. Crickets, Green Geese, Royal Raindrops, the Cannonballs, uh, Evergreen Warriors, Wasps, and our Championship Leaders of Celestic Science who are looking to extend their lead. They currently have 
and I 69 points entering this event, will they be able to extend it? And again, we're gonna have a safety model deployed, this time it's a Stardust up top, everybody's rolling again, and I think we, we look like we're having a pretty incident-free race, as the Wasps are down there, they're gonna finish in last, unfortunately for them. Royal Raindrops, there go the Everglade Warriors, and we have our top five. There go the Cannonball, Celestic Science just missed the podium, Green Geese will take the bronze, and it's a battle between the Crickets and the Stardust. The Crickets are the first one into the final funnel, will they hold it? Yes they will! Cicada knocks out the Stardust, and will get the Crickets their first medal of the season. That's the Stardust first medal of the season too, and the Green Geese, so a completely fresh podium. Celestic Science now have placed only in three spots this whole season. They've gotten sixth twice, they've gotten fourth three times, I believe, and they've gotten first. But what a job done by Celestic Science, but an even better job done by our podium finishers today. I believe the Celestic Science will hold the lead, because these teams are all well down the order. But what a final stand by Cicada. The crickets have been pretty absent from the front this whole season, and Cicada wants to change that. The Crickets are very, very grateful to get this gold medal. They are defending champions and hadn't really been a good job defending that championship. But Crickets fans are thrilled as can be. They will stand on top of the podium above Starshine from the Stardust and Ducky from the Green Geese. White Dragons continuing their plummet from Grace. They were in fifth a little while ago, and they're going to be well down the order here. Who's not well down the order? I don't believe these teams will be for much longer if they can continue up this fine form. Cicada, Starshine, and Ducky. We'll see what happens to the overall standing. Celestic Science do hold the lead with 81 points. They are now six clear of the Cannonballs, who have jumped the Circus Clowns. The Everly Warriors have gone up to 8th above the Stardust to Cricket, and only the bottom three have been eliminated as of right now, meaning the championship is still open all the way down to the White Dragons. And we have our individual championship now. Our bottom our bottom 14 have all been knocked out from podium contention. Moist can still podium. And then from Espresso and above, all the way up to our new championship leader of Dawn from the Cannonballs, they can all still win it. With two rounds to go, everything's up for grabs. Who will win the final tournament in Season 2? Find out in two races. We crawl our way into the seventh race of the final tournament, Season 2 season. The home of the defending champions, the Crickets. This is Cricket Circuit, which will be the penultimate round of the season, where 13 teams are still alive in the championship. And I believe the other three could still podium, so really everything's up for grabs here, but the competitors will have to master this for returning track. This is a difficult track. We've seen stoppages on it before when it was featured as the Ladybug Lane track. There's the Crickets King. Hello. But this is going to be a difficult track, and Starshine, Drake, Sapphire, Helios, Maple, Pollux, Moist, and V are going to have to do their best to, to master the track. And here we go. Thunder Gods immediately plummet down there. The Thunder Gods, I believe, won this track back in Season 1. Can they recover? It's Starshine from the Stardust, who had the lead, hands it over to the Sunrise Storm now. And down farther below, it is going to be the Evergreen Warriors and the White Dragons plummeting on through, followed by the Thunder Gods. They are all done. And up top, it's the... Oh, the Bumblebees have gotten stuck. The Bumblebees will not finish this race. You can see the safety model at the top was not able to be deployed because Bumblebees were the only Marvel still really competing up there. And Celestic Science will take the win. Of course, we are trying to improve the safety conditions of these tracks, but just the tracks this season have really not been cooperative, I guess. <laughs> it's been a very dangerous season with many DNFs, so we'll hope to change that in the future. We will be working with the track and security team, but for now we're going to move on to Heat 2 with Billy, Cicada, Bouncy, Greenie, Espresso, Queen, Candace, and Cam. And away we go, and a lot of black marbles up there. We got the wasp and the cannonballs holding the lead. The glaciers are near there. And it's now Can from the cannonballs who has the top, but no, it switches back to Candace from the glaciers, and we have a pileup. 
and the safety mob was going to be deployed this time. And farther down below go the greenies and the cannonballs, followed by the wasps and circus clowns. We'll see if everybody... Oh, the safety mob actually did manage to get everybody going this time. So that means the crickets, the glaciers, the green geese, and the lattes will be moving on. This has been... Already, these these past two races, the Greeny Expressway and Cricket Circuit, you now have really been very difficult. There's been too many DNFs, I believe, and we'll have to talk with the track security team if we want to see these tracks return in the future. But yeah, but Expresso will win this heat and move on to the Lattes. I mean, so, the Celestic Science still alive. This means they will now be. 7 for 7 on top half finishes, which is really just unbelievable at this point. They are our championship leaders, so we'll have to see if they can hold it, or if they will lose it entering the final round. Shout out to the safety marble doing everything they can do on this very dangerous course, as we are ready to go for the match from 9th to 16th. We are hoping for a cleaner race here, and we are underway. And immediately the wasps, white dragons, and cannonballs have plummeted down. There go the white dragons. They're still falling. And, oh boy. Into the final funnel we go. And we already have another middle section incident. But will it be enough? Will the safety model be able to get them going? If they do, the white dragons will finish and last once again. And I believe we might have one... Oh, never mind. There go the thunder guards, which means the white dragons will finish last. Pollux picks up a ninth place finish. So the defending champion has had a very interesting season because they have been good in the rounds for 9th to 16th. They have not had, they did not get a single top half result this season. They got 9th, 11th, 9th, and 11th, and that just means they did bad in the heat, but they still have the potential to do well in the rounds that are for points, I guess. So our, our defending individual champion, not going to have the best season, but... Respectable. Okay, shout out to the safety marble. We've got some crickets fans out here. Firing the view. We are ready to go for the finale now. With Cicada, Espresso, Billy, Candace, Starshine, Sapphire, Helio, and Moist. Last season at this track, Grasshopper raced for the host of the crickets and got dead last. Cicada is look looking to flip the tables on him here and perhaps win gold. Can they do it? Let's see. They are still doing decently well as they are now in the top three with the Stardust and the Green Geese have taken the lead. The Green Geese. Still going. And uh, we're going to have another pileup. My goodness. This is just becoming routine at this point. And we'll have to see. It does look like that the Safety Marble does have enough to get the momentum going this time. Is there, will it be enough though? We got one, we got two, and that's going to be it. So the winner of this race is going to be the Stardusts. I believe. The Royal Raindrops will get second. Apologies for my commentary here. This is, this is crazy. So, the Lattes will get third. Moist from the Royal Raindrops will pick up the silver, meaning Starshine gets the gold. Too much math. <laughs> And the Crickets will get 4th, Sunrise Storm 5th, and there's the pile up for the Safety Marble, could only get 2 dislodged. There's a clear review, so the Celestic Signs will get 6th above the Green Geese in the Glacier, but after a chaotic, crazy race, the Stardust will stand triumphant atop the podium, and the White Dragons will play last for the second round in a row. But yeah, the, the security team, not, not just security, the track repair team really needs to step it up this season. We will be working on that. The finale, I do believe, is going to be a bit different. We'll have to see with our final hosts, the Evergreen Warriors at the Winding Woods. We'll see what they can do. But entering that track, the Celestic Science will hold the lead by 12 points over the Stardust to have jumped 7 spots. The Royal Raindrops have vaulted onto a podium too. The Cannonballs and Circus Clowns Plummet on down, only the top half can still win. The crickets all the way to the glaciers get podium, and from the greenies on down, they are knocked out from championship and podium contention. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the Winding Woods.
This season has wound its way down to the finale and we have found ourselves where else but the winding woods. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. The finale set to take place now at the Winding Woods, home of the Evergreen Warriors. And oh boy, this is going to be an interesting one. Unlike the other tracks which have had a bit of accidental chaos, the Evergreen Warriors know no such bounds, and they welcome us to the chaotic, crazy Winding Woods, which will feature DNFs aplenty, and everything is going to be insane this round. I would not be surprised if we see a round with maybe two or three finishers. But, that's just how it works here at the Windy Woods. There will be potentially uh, intervention from the flesh being filming with the camera or the ball bearing, if needed, only for track clear-ups. If we have DNF like we just did there, that will not be fixed. It's only to make sure that the race runs as smoothly as possible. Oh my, and it's already as chaotic as the Evergreen Warriors promised. Oh, another one just goes shooting off the other well right there. We've got, oh, another one. There's just four runners left, and it's these four that will move on to the final. It's the Lattes and Celestic Signs. Look at that, swinging in tandem in the penultimate funnel. Excuse me, it's the Royal Raindrop, not the Celestic Signs. The Royal Raindrop are going to win this heat, and they'll be moving on along with the Lattes, the Bumblebees, and the Green Geese. I know the Evergreen Warriors said this track would be crazy. I think that was a bit of an understatement. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be crazy. The Celestic Signs, our championship leaders, they have a 12-point lead in the championship. They are in this second heat now, along with Caster, Clowny, Glacier, Stardust, Hyperion, Dragon, and Evergreen, our host, the Evergreen Warriors. Let's see, here we go, and ooh, they're going to... The Flesh Being is going to fix the stoppage at the top, and the Thunder Gods are not having a good start, nor are the Celestic Science. The White Dragons are down, and ooh, that was a pretty interesting jump. They just jump into that funnel and shoot into the next one. This one's actually looking, oh, there go the Slurgus Clowns. They're going to hit the Sunrise Storm Fan down, and the Flesh Being will put a stop to that. Speaking of the Sunrise Storm, they are finished with the White Dragons, and we only have four runners left. Celestic Science will not win this, actually. The Stardust put up a nice final stand and hope to keep their championship aspirations alive as they go to the finale. That being said, though, the Celestic Science will be placing top half, meaning they will get top half in every single race this season. And that is unbelievable. That should knock a fair amount of teams out, I believe, the Stardust and maybe... The Royal Raindrops might be the only two teams still alive that could take down the Celestic Science. Here we go to the match for 9th through 16th now. Our hosts will be in this match, so even with the chaos, they will not be having a great run. But let's see, they might be able to recover. Anything can happen on this track. Oh, there go the Greenies, I believe. And the White Dragons are stalled all the way right at the entrance of that bottom funnel. They're going to finish last. And that does mean the White Dragons will have placed last in all of the last three races to end the season. And that's pretty dismal. But farther down the course, the Sunrise Storm are putting up a good final stand as they're going to fend off the Evergreen Warriors, and Grasshopper from the Cricket has taken the lead. And they will win this 9th to 16th match. This is crazy stuff. Anything could happen here at the Winding Woods. Like I said, all the other tracks, chaos, accidental. The track repairs, the marshals did their best to make sure it didn't happen. Here at the Winding Woods, everything has a purpose, and this just is crazy. No lead is safe. You could fly off anywhere on this track. I think the other one is kind of like that. So, the Celestic Science, I believe, have clinched the final podium. They should be at... 99 points, I believe, at minimum, with an 8th place finish, which is the lowest possible. So, we'll have to see what Glacier, Castor, Vespa, Cappuccino, Dew, Ducky, and Stardust can do to stop them, as we are ready to go for the final time this season! We are underway at the Winding Woods! And once again, the Flush Being's gonna help out at the top, make sure all... Well, it can be a fair chaotic race. Ooh! 
farther down the course, somebody just goes flying off. We've got another one. I think the Stardusts are gone. I do think that the Stardusts are out. Yes, this means the Celestic Scion can only be dethroned, I believe, by the Royal Raindrop. And even then, they're still holding the lead. It's not going to matter. What happens here? Celeste has done it again. Circling through the, for the final time, the Winding Woods have wound to a path of victory claimed again by the Celestic Cyan. They are your Season 2 champions with another dominant performance here in the finale by Celeste. And they are going to be celebrating all night long here at the Winding Woods as they have won the championship. And I believe by a fair margin too. We'll have to see what the final score is, but this is just unbelievable. We knew the track would be crazy and the results are just as insane. Celeste wins the gold, Caster from the Thunder Gods wins the silver, and Ducky from the Green Geese will get bronze right above the Royal Raindrops. Kanyan scoring is confirming that the Thunder Gods with their third medal of the season, all three by Caster, will be your runner-up this season with 90 total points, and the Celestic Science will win it by 26! That is unbelievable! The Royal Raindrops with another top half finish, will be your bronze medalist and the starter will come oh so close yet again but we'll miss the podium but the celestic science fans will be going crazy they have won their second gold of the season and the overall championship thank you all so much for watching this crazy chaotic season of the funnel tournament i'm the emperor that's all for now and we'll see you at the closing ceremony